we uh, went and fished in the Yellowstone River. And uh, uh, one time we uh, caught a, a pretty nice size uh, a trout and uh, couldn't hardly get it in. And Tom doesn't mind just diving into the water to, to help land the fish. And I think that's kind of exemplary of the way he lives his life. He, he does everything with a passion. And um, I'll never forget how Tom, you know, burst into the lab and said, um, I have it, I have it. I was, I was taking a shower this morning <laughs> and it came to me in the shower. <laughs> and I think that's very typical of what I've observed about Tom over the years, which is that he has this spark of imagination um, that appears at the oddest hours. Dr. Milner has had a, a personal profound effect on me. Um, I've been inspired that not only after the great things he's done and the commercialization success, success he's had, he's still committed to teaching and his students and he's also committed to getting back in the lab and, and continuing to innovate and I think we can all benefit from that. Well, the applications of my work are the use of light in medicine and um, those fall into either diagnostics or surgery. So I have focused on the eye, diagnostics in the eye, the heart, uh, imaging the heart with Dr. Feldman, and then the skin, uh, either using lasers and light for surgery or for imaging. And so we took some of the technology actually that that Tom had been uh, developing and specifically applied it to the early diagnosis of glaucoma and uh, built some new instrumentation that uh, actually measured the polarization uh, in the retinal nerve fiber layer uh, in the eye. Just in the area of the optical coherence tomography, Tom has produced about 20 patterns in a period of just five years. And I'm talking about issued patents in the United States. I'm not talking just about applications or disclosures. This shows a tremendous productivity, at the same time a tremendous understanding of the field. This is something that he was very successful at it. Uh, not that many people can do this as well as he did. So he's a wonderful resource and a great mentor and he takes the time to meet with people and explain what he's done. And I think that's very valuable. I think that Tom is unique in, in being a very unique role model in that he's very open to other people's ideas. He's very sharing of his ideas. Um, he doesn't have preconceived notions. You know, you can challenge him at lab meetings and he doesn't take offense to that. He actually, you know, he likes that because then it helps create new ideas for the group. Uh, so I think that part of Tom's success is not just his uh, great abilities as, a, as an engineer, but also his, his nature as a person. I think that's also part of what's made him so successful. Not only has he improved the, the standard of care in, in a number of fields, but he's also shown for um, other researchers and, and students that will become researchers and, and will hope to impact the field of medicine. He's, he can show what, what is possible. Uh, if you don't have good science, then the rest of the activity is a moot point. He's a fantastic scientist, first and foremost. Secondly, and the, it, we have many fantastic scientists, what makes Dr. Milner, I think, relatively unique is he has an understanding of how that technology and the science can be commercialized. He has a good understanding of what the private industry is going to need to do to commercialize the basic research that he's done in the lab. It's probably being relevant to um, things going on in, in our world, uh, having my work be applied to real problems that are being encountered in the world we live. Um, just the satisfaction to, to see some of uh, the ideas and fruits of my work to be applied to real problems that are affecting people's lives. The best satisfaction of a biomedical engineer is when he sees the patients feel better. There is no better excitement than seeing a patient coming to you as an inventor and saying, you know, you saved my life. You made me see again where I couldn't see before. Uh, I would be able to live another five years to see my grandchildren. 
go to college. This is where the satisfaction comes. Uh, this is where people like Tom Milner have to be considered as heroes of our state, uh, heroes of our society, because they provide exactly the hope for those who suffer. They hope that they can live a better life and they can live for a longer period of time.